Would you like me to lie to you now? Yes. Well, here you are, the final episode of the Buffy Wars. We've made it. It took us three and a half years, but we're here and I don't know how to feel. It feels so surreal and weird and I cannot believe I'm finishing off Angel today. Okay, yeah, I don't, I feel like I should make a speech or something because this was a huge part of my life for the past three and a half years. Like doing this show, Buffy and Angel, changed my life and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you for tuning in, for watching these reactions, for supporting me on Patreon. It's been a crazy ride and I enjoyed every minute of it, except for the minutes that broke my heart. I actually just edited You're Welcome and it broke me. <laughs> like rewatching that episode was so sad. I don't know why I did that right before I'm going into the finale. I'm already emotional. So yeah, this is probably going to be a sappy reaction. But yeah, thank you. That's what I was. Thank you so much for tuning into these reactions. So yeah, today we're going to be watching Angel season 5 episode 22 called Not Fade Away, which I mean, we are definitely fading away forever. But hey, on the bright side, I cannot be spoiled anymore, so that's great. Also, kind of crazy that I managed to go this far without seeing any spoilers. Props to my moderators, thank you so much. And for everyone who's always been like, don't read that, there's spoilers there. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I'm glad that I managed to get through this, being surprised by all and every single one of the plot twists. But yes, I'm very, very curious to see what they're gonna do in this finale. I mean, I'm assuming we're gonna go after the circle, I think. Is that what they were called? I've forgotten already. That's how inconsequential they are. Just saying. But yeah, anyway, I'm assuming we're gonna do that and then hopefully give some nice, satisfying conclusions to our characters. I am worried about a potential death this episode. Buffy definitely gave us some death in their finale, so I'm wondering if Angel's gonna do the same thing. Would they kill any of the big three like Angel, Gunn or Wesley? I don't know, right? Maybe not. Also probably not Spike. I just cannot see them kill him two finales in a row. So my best guess would be like Lorne. That would kill me. That would actually kill me. Or you know Harmony. Like they're the main characters that we also care about that they could kill off but they're still not killing off that big of a character, which I feel like is kind of what they did on Buffy. So yeah, I'm definitely nervous going into this episode, also excited to see how this story will conclude, and also just very, very sad that it's over. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna hit play. I don't know what else to say. I feel like there's too much to say, so I'm, I'm just gonna watch the episode. I, I don't I don't know. I don't, I'm not good at goodbyes, okay? This is kind of a goodbye from me to you, and I don't know how to do that, so I'm just gonna hit play. Previously on Angel. To be a black thorn is to be the senior partner's instrument. Previously on. I'm talking about killing every single member of the black thorn. You need to decide if that's worth dying for. Are they gonna die? Uh, poor Lord, he was like, I guess. Circle of the Black Thorn is the most powerful group in this plane of existence. Together, they vaporize us. Separated, they're just demons. When do we make our move? So, oh, I love that. Jogan's dead. And uh, how do so you- So he did kill him. Because I killed him. What? How oh, you oh son my of a- Oh God. <laughs> Sorry know you were in conference. I was just making a closing statement. <laughs> Unless somebody didn't hear me. Oh god, this is so fucking crazy. You've got yourself a problem. Nothing you have to worry about. Oh, not me. Your new friends, the Black Thorn. They're very concerned. About what? These friends? They want to see you right now. No rest for the wicked. Oh god, I'm scared. Do they suspect something? Did the glamour not work? I'm telling you, our fearless leader has fearlessly lost it. There's no part of this that makes any sense. I mean, we could be next. I don't think we're being monitored here. I'm not playing to the crowd, Gun. 
Who we... actually thinks that? Be the seeds of the storm at the center of the world's woe now convene. Ancient. It's like no one gave me the script for this little chant. The circle does not abide secrets. Which is interesting for a secret society. Remember your place, <laughs> vampire. We're interested in Mr. Wyndham Price. He seems intriguingly unstable. Mr. Gunn, on the other hand, does not. Which is a pity. He had so much potential. He is not, however, Gross. our greatest concern. Illyria? If the next words out of your mouth are kill Spike, we just might have to kiss. <laughs> Spike is not the threat. You are. Oh, what do you mean? You've proven your loyalty to the circle. But? Regrettably, there's something stronger than loyalty. God, what oh. is it? <gasps> is it the Shanshu prophecy? This is the Shanshu prophecy. I'm so excited, yes! A paranoid person might think you're trying to manipulate us in an attempt to fulfill this prophecy. Of course he would never do that. I have no desire to become human. Oh, good. Right. Then you won't mind signing that pesky future away. Through that document, the prophecy can be undone. Your signature what? there will remove any opportunity that you will ever earn your once precious humanity. No, no, he can't do that. Of course. Oh, be... oh God! <sighs> there is no way he's signing that away, <gasps> Angel. So he's not becoming human. Angel, just wondering where everybody it's is. So sad. You ever miss it? Being human? I don't think she does. I don't know. It's weird. Part of me always knew life would end after high school. I was very popular, you know, the whole <laughs> golden years thing. I don't remember what it was like being human. It's too long ago. What do you mean you were human in season one? Although I do remember my heart and the way it would thump when I kissed a really hot boy for the first time. How am I already almost crying? I feel so bad for him. I thought he was going to become a human. Got his happy ending. You're not a part of this. I could be. I'm your assistant after all. I could, I don't know assist you or something oh harmony i love her there's always going to be power and there's always going to be corruption so again i ask because it's not what i'm expected to do because you're good in a fight we tear up this firm someone's gonna have to step in and i know that's what you want and i'm a lot more comfortable with the thought of you in that position than anyone else no fucking way so here's a plot twist i'm in why he wants to be boss you're really a vampire with big brass testes this is gonna be a circus. I mean, win or lose, you're about to pick the nastiest fight since mankind dropped kicked the last demon out of this dimension. And that, you don't do without me. You want me? I'm on your team. Oh, I, I you, love Lindsay. this so much. I want you, Lindsay. Think about rephrasing that. Yeah, I think I'd be more comfortable if you did. <laughs> Hamilton did this. You didn't know? He brought Drogon to the circle so you could kill him to prove you'd gone over. Yeah, say, any other tips on how to be a hero we could share with the boys and girls at home? I didn't have a choice. It would have killed us both. If we they... get it. We'd just like to know if they're going to need any of the rest of us as proof. Pick us off one by one, you know? No, they won't. We're killing them all tonight. Oh, God. Okay. Everything is happening so quickly. But today, I want you guys to go out. Live. Do whatever you want. I hate that. Because they're going to die? Live the day like it's your last. Because it probably is. Oh, God. Every day would be the first day of spring. Oh, I don't like that we immediately started on Lorne after he said that. Is he gonna die? Hi. <sighs> I'm sorry, what? We're asking for his help in the fight? Oh, God, I hope that's gonna work out well. I'm scared. Charles. Oh my god! Holy shit! It took me so long to recognize her. Got a bunch of furniture donated. Gotta move this stuff to the new shelter. I'm still fighting the good fight, huh? It's the journal. Car things uptown. Um, oh, that's so cool to check in with her. We actually have a part time paid psychiatric staff. She's thriving. What if I told you it doesn't help? What would you do if you found out that none of it matters? That it's all controlled by forces more powerful and uncaring than we can conceive. And they will never let it get better down here. What would you do? Keep doing what she's been doing? I'd get this truck packed before the new stuff gets here. 
Nothing else you can do. Keep trying to do good. I've been broken and humiliated. I will return in kind every blow, every sting. Yes, Illyria, get his ass. Pull their eyes out just enough to turn them towards their mewing, mutilated faces. You're a very inspirational person. <laughs> I that. Angel told you to do whatever you wanted. Today. And he wants to help you. I am not what you want. No, it's Fred. There is nothing that I want. You want to be with Fred. Yeah. That is so sad. Oh, why is that gonna make me cry? I need to hold it together. I could assume her shape. Make her no, come alive you. again this once for you. Oh, please, God, no. That hurts too much. The truth is that Fred is gone. God. To pretend anything else would be a lie. My soul is wrapped in harsh repose. Midnight descends in raven-colored clothes. Oh my god, Spike. My heart expands. He's grown a bulge in it. <laughs> okay. Effulgent. Yeah. <laughs> His little face. That was for Cecily. All right, this next one's called The Wanton Folly of Mimo. Oh my god, for Cecily. But it's the wolf part that Jones is here. There's some full moon love, am I right? Fur flying. Huh? Connor! I know you're my father. Okay. Kind of like a bad dream I had, I guess. Uh, very strange and violent. At times, inappropriately erotic. <laughs> dream. I get what you did. You know. And I'm grateful. That's as far as I want to take it. Okay. That's funny. I love it. Oh, he's just here to say goodbye. I get it now. I thought he wanted to recruit him for the fight. I am uh, applying for an internship. I'm supposed to write up a resume. Do you need help? Have you ever written a resume before? No, definitely not. But I have very nice handwriting. You girl. I love that scene so much. You sure you can handle the Sarvan? Listen to me with karaoke boy, how tough can they be? It's Lauren. What's that? Worried about his reading? Said your future was gonna be crappy. He's probably telling you that just to mess with you. Yeah, probably. Oh god. Is he gonna die? Girl, you give up immortality for me. <laughs> it's like something out of a fairy tale. We don't live in a fairy tale. I can't believe that they actually truly love each other. I thought either one or the other was using the other, but very sweet. They found love. One of you will betray me. Wes. Oh. Can I deny you three times? <laughs> Zeriel, the devil, and three other members of the circle dine together almost every night. I'll make trophies of their spines. Good to have you on the team. Awesome. <laughs> we love you, girl. You already know she's pure hellspawn, and she tends to surround herself with vampires. I was hoping to be vamps. Haven't dusted nearly enough this year. Oh, damn. We're going back to the beginning. Ah, the baby. And the Legion of the Fell Brethren. I want the kid returned to his mother and the foster family dismembered. Done and done. Yes! Thank God we're saving the baby. Uh, I'm not a fighter, Angel Wings. I've never had the stomach for it. Looks like I'm your weak link. I just need you to back up, Lindsay. It'll be just as dangerous for him as it will be for everyone else on our team. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah. I thought she was dead, but then I was like, wait a minute, she'd be dust if she was dead. Is that how she distracted Hamilton? Had sex with him? Or have anyway, they been in a relationship this whole time? About Angel's secret plan. God damn it, Harmony. I thought, oh my God, no way she's betraying us this last minute. I'll do this last thing for you, but then I'm out. And you won't find me in the alley afterwards. Hell, you won't find me at all. Oh, Lauren. Do me a favor, don't try. Oh, honey, I'm so sorry. Try not to die. You are not unpleasant to my eyes. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Better than. Oh, God, I'm so scared. Oh, no, I hated that look. Is Wesley actually dying? Was I wrong? Are they killing one of the big three? You make it through this, does one of us get to be a real boy? Who are you kidding? We're not gonna make it through. <laughs> That's great. As long as it's not you. <laughs> it's definitely not him, not anymore. Where's Hamilton? Records room. Been keeping him busy, like you said. Good, I gotta stop by the penthouse, but have my car ready. And just make sure Hamilton stays busy. No problem, oh boss. Oh, come on. Does Angel know that she's playing him? God, I hope so. Going out? God damn it. I'm gonna take that when you visit Sebastus? Why don't I think that's a gift? I <laughs> 
on, no! Oh my god. Hamilton. He's oh. not my boyfriend. I mean, I certainly didn't betray you. Drop the act on It's not an act. I'm really this nervous. I know you turned <laughs> on me. I just didn't know when. What do you mean you knew? Oh, thank God. I am a damn loyal dumbass. You betrayed me. You are betraying me now, even as we are talking. Because you never have any confidence in me. No, because you have no soul. I would if you had confidence in me. <laughs> are you firing me? Among other things, yes. Oh, goodbye, Harmony. Do you think I could get a recommendation? It's already on the desk. Oh, you're the best. That is so funny. I fucking love Angel. Good luck. Um, may the best man win? Oh, I'm gonna miss her. <sighs> oh no, that did nothing. You're a gutter trash. That's where you should have stayed. Champion, the hero of the people. Yeah, that's who he is. And he will kill you, bitch. Doyle, Cordelia, Fred. They're all gone. Thank you. Did you really think you were gonna kill Archduke Sebastus? No, he thought he was gonna kill you. I think I heard he did. Oh my god, how did you poison him? I spiked his drink. <laughs> oh shit. I figured you were the one I needed to be along with. Why, so I could kill you? Well, I thought the fight would be going a little better. Oh. <laughs> Awkward! The rest of the circle will wither and die. Like you're about to. Oh, huh, yeah. You don't know who you're dealing with, do you, boy? An old bitch, that's who we're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. I mean, really, I crap better magic than this. Now then, let me show you what a real wizard can do. <laughs> God, Wesley, I hope you have a plan B. Why do you keep fighting? You signed away your Shan Shoe. There's nothing in it for you anymore. People who don't care about anything will never understand the people who do. Oh. Yeah. You fight because it's right, not because you get something out of it. Uh, uh. Oh, thank God. Who is that? Care about that dress for less? Connor, he came. You drop by for a cup of coffee and the world's not ending? Please. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy. Even in the United States, <laughs> My goodness oh my god oh poor lord all this violence that's not his style and we're on the rest of the team for all i know we are the rest of the team i haven't heard squat it's weird no call no i mean me saying team and meaning it i'm so happy it isn't my kind of work anymore it's unsavory see i think it's just getting interesting you don't trust me you don't think a man can change not about what I think. This was Angel's plan. I could sing for you. I've heard you sing. Oh. Why? Why? <sighs> One last job. You're not part of the solution, Lindsay. You never will be. You kill me? <sighs> A flunky? I'm not just. Angel kills me. You. Angel. Did Angel ask him to do that? Or did he need to do that because he read Lindsay at one point? Good night, folks. Oh god, Lorne. I can't believe he's done that. I was like, I can't believe they killed Lindsay. I thought he was getting a redemption. Your politics could never kill me, boy. But this could? Then I'll just have to do this the old fashioned way. Yes! Oh god damn it. <gasps> oh god, that looks bad, but it's fine, right? Just a tiny little stab. He stabbed gun and he was fine. This wound is mortal. What do you mean? Aren't we all? It was good that you came. I killed all mine. And I was worried about Wesley. You'll be dead within moments. I know. Would you like me to lie to you now? What? Oh, yes. What? Thank you. Yes. 
Hello there. My Wesley. Fred. Miss you. Me too, bitch. It's gonna be okay. It won't hurt much longer. And you'll be where I am. No, he won't be. We'll be together. He won't. Her soul is burnt up. I love you. <laughs> I love you. I hate this. Oh, I love. <laughs> oh, fuck this. Why did he kill him? Very touching his meaningless death was. Oh, dude, you should not have taunted her. Take your best shot, little girl. <sighs> Fuck you, dude. Good job, Illyria. What is with you people? Connor! Don't do anything to Connor, please. I can't take it. I am a part of them. My blood is filled with their ancient power. Gives a shit. Can you pick out the one word there you probably shouldn't have said? Heart? Ooh, blood. <gasps> and now it's gonna flow through Angel. Oh, that was really cool. You really are full of it. Let's fucking go. What was that you were saying about ancient power? You dumb son of a bitch. Get killed, dude. You don't stand a chance. We are legion. We are forever. And I guess forever. Just got a hell of a lot shorter. Damn. He broke his neck with a punch. That's fucking insane. Connor? Oh, he's good. Thank God. Is he dead? He's dead. <gasps> oh God, what now? Are the senior partners angry? You go home. This is my fight. Had some serious matches. Ah! Connor, please. Please leave, I don't want you to die. They'll destroy you. As long as you're okay, they can't. Go. Oh, thank God. Oh, I'm so happy he's fine. Never thought I would say those words. Looks like we're getting kicked out of the garden. Where's Lindsay? Where is he? He's not coming for you. You. Time to go. So it was Angel. He told Lord to kill him. Ooh. Anyone else? Not so far. You feel the heat? It's coming. What's coming? Finally got ourselves a decent brawl. Damn! How did I know the Feng boys would pull through? You're lucky we're on the same side, dogs. Supposed to wear that red stuff on the inside, Charlie boy. <sighs> Is he fine? Is he gonna be fine? Oh god, I'm so scared. Wesley's dead. I'm feeling grief for him. I can't seem to control it. <laughs> Join the club. I wish to do more violence. Hard agree. Well, wishes just happen to be horses today, among other things. <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? Okay, you take the 30,000 on the left. You're fading. The last 10 minutes are best. And <laughs> well, let's make them memorable. And in terms of a plan, we fight. A bit more specific? We die. Well, personally, I kind of want to slay the dragon. Let's go to work. What? So they're just gonna die? They're all dying. Okay, what kind of fuck ass ending is this? <laughs> They're all just gonna die? Like, is that what happened? What was even the point of it then? Like, why did they go up against Wolfram and Hart? If they were just gonna die in the end, or Wolfram and Hart were gonna retaliate in a way where there are now actual demons on Earth. Like, dude, if you don't win against the dragon, does that mean there's just a dragon in LA now? Like, how is this? better than what was going on before what a weird ass ending i don't i don't know about this i don't I, I do we like this i don't know i just i need to think about this so i don't know like i get the whole 
angel is about fighting and the fighting never ending and yeah it makes sense but like that was a lot at the end like are they gonna win that probably not so like what even is the point you know the fighting never ends bitch it's ending right now because they're all fucking dead like God had 10 minutes to live and then each was gonna get eaten by a dragon like I'm pretty sure that's what was going to happen so yeah no the fighting ended they are dead good job you lost I just like what I don't understand like that is such a sad ending why would they do that Listen, I'm a happy ending kind of gal, okay? I like a happy ending, even if it's unrealistic, you know? Like, if I watch a show for years on end, I want the characters to be happy at the end of it. So this bummed me out. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't even know what else to talk about. I just... I don't know. It's over. <laughs> and I, I don't know. I definitely preferred Buffy's ending. I just like a hopeful ending, as I said. So this is just so depressing. Like, I get the whole concept of the fighting never ends, but maybe we could have let Angel retire, right? Like, he could have become human. It would have been so sweet and nice. And he just signed it all away. I don't like that. I also don't like that Wesley died. That was so sad. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I want to talk anymore. I do want to do, like, a live... Q&A session over on YouTube. You guys will be notified when that's happening and then we can talk about it a little bit more. I just, I feel like I had so much to say as well. Like before I went into the episode, I really wanted to do a rant about Spike and how I don't think he should have been part of Angel season 5. And now I don't know if I want to do that anymore because I'm just too sad. But basically the gist of that would have been that I love Spike, first of all, and I think he was a fun addition to the cast and I love seeing his dynamics with Angel and I would have had zero problems with him being here had he not died over on Buffy. I absolutely despise characters coming back from the dead. Like if you're gonna kill off a character, just stick to your guns and leave them dead. I don't think I've ever seen a good character coming back from the dead moment except for Buffy like I think they did it well like that was the only time I think maybe there's like one or two more times from all of media but 90% of the time bringing a character back from the dead is always just bad in my opinion like I really don't like it and it really lowers the stakes in your show as well because like oh so characters can just be brought back then like why would I ever fear anything so yeah I think in this case they did really well with Buffy like the way they brought her back and everything that happened after I think they've done a good job but with Spike what that was awful like they gave him this huge heroic death and to be honest, I wish that Spike had known that he was going to die and he still decided to take the amulet or something. I think that would have been even better for his character where he's like willing to giving up his life because he just wore a medal because he got into like a pissing match with Angel in his head where he was like, well, I'm gonna take it. You know, it's not gonna be little Miss Angel boy. I'll take the medallion and then suddenly he's dead. Like he had no idea what was happening to him or what would happen to him if he put it on. So I wish he had known that he was going to die and then still decided to take the medallion on and take it away from Buffy or from Faith you know where it was like no it should be me I'm doing this but yeah anyway he still died a heroic death and then they brought him over to Angel and at the beginning I was very excited because it was fun like I can't believe he's back and then he's a ghost like that's so fascinating and then he has a body okay cool so now we can really get into a meaty storyline for him and there were no storylines for him. Like, if you really think about it, Spike being here means nothing to the plot. Like, you could take Spike out of it and barely anything would change. None of the major events would be any different if Spike wasn't here. And again, that wouldn't be a problem if he hadn't died on Buffy. If he had just went away or something and then just showed up in LA, all good. But like, if you're gonna bring a character back from the death, there should be a huge point you're trying to make with that. Like, there should be a big reason for it. 
and there wasn't for Spike. He did nothing this entire season. He was mostly a comic relief, like if you really think about it. Like there was one episode that was kind of focusing on him, but he was still a ghost when that was happening. But besides that, I mean, oh, okay, he and Angel tried to fight for the chalice and like it was a cool moment for Angel to learn that, oh, maybe he doesn't have the drive anymore to become human. Like interesting morals rose from that. But besides that, there was not much Spike brought to the table this season besides humor. And the humor was great and I enjoyed it massively. I thought it was great, but it didn't warrant him coming back from the dead. At least that's my opinion. I wonder what you guys think. I just feel like they should have done with more with the character. If they're gonna resurrect him, they should have given him some sort of story. And them not doing anything with Spy cannot be chalked up to the fact that they didn't know this was gonna be their last season. No, because if you bring a character back, you're gonna have to do something with them kind of straight away. You cannot wait seasons to be like, oh yeah, and by the way, this is the reason why we brought him back. Like, no, you're gonna have to do that immediately. I honestly really thought that they were gonna do more after he became flesh and bone. Like maybe this was gonna be a temporary thing or he was gonna have to fight for it. Or like Lindsay and Eve had something else in their back pockets with him. And then they didn't. Like they just gave him back his body so easily. And for what? Not much, really. So yeah, that was gonna be my big rant. And I guess I did go on it. I'm not crying anymore, so that's nice. <laughs> Me getting angry was a good thing, I guess. Maybe now I can talk a little bit more about the episode without bursting into tears. Of course you wouldn't see this, but there are like actual minutes of me just sitting here <laughs> crying and not saying anything, just looking off into the distance. Like, obviously I'm cutting all of that because you don't want to watch that, that's just boring as hell, but yeah, this finale really upset me. I also can't believe Lauren killed Lindsay like that was insane. Oh no, now I'm talking about the episode again and I'm gonna start crying again. But like, oh, I feel bad for Lauren. <laughs> Let me just feel bad for the murderer here. He never wanted any of this. Like he, I think he literally just escaped his own dimension so that he could get away from all this violence and then he had his little club here and there was no violence policy like everybody was welcome and then he met Angel and co and then his life kind of turned to hell a little bit so for his story to end so sadly as well like oh oh god okay here I go again so yeah I kind of hoped something better for Lorne he was my favorite and his ending was so sad also, I'm really sad for Lindsay as well. I can't believe they killed him. I thought he was gonna be a good guy in the end or just be part of their team. So yeah, I'm still kind of curious to see why Angel told Lauren to kill him, right? Like that's what happened because he told Eve that Lindsay wasn't coming back. So he must have known what Lauren was going to do. So it wasn't Lauren's idea but he still did it for Angel, even though Lauren was doubting Angel. So that's kind of crazy. And I really wonder what the reason behind that was. Is it just that he is untrustworthy? He would have made Wolfman Heart even worse? I'm not sure, but that's insane. Like Lauren just killing him in cold blood. So fucked up. And yeah, the whole Wesley Illyria slash Fred scene, can't talk about it. I cannot talk about it. That was heartbreaking it truly killed me and i don't know how to be okay with that so yeah this was the end i don't know how to end this i don't know what to say i just it's too much pressure okay it's too much pressure to try and end this huge series like angel and buffy the buffy verse coming to an end it's too much I'm overwhelmed and I don't know what to say. So I'm gonna collect my thoughts for the live stream and then we can chat all things Buffy, especially now that I cannot be spoiled. I love that so much, like, yay, finally. I don't have to live my life in fear anymore. But yes, I will see you guys for the live stream, the one final Buffy hurrah, and also maybe for the Buffy movie. I still need to check that out. So I definitely wanna do that as well. But yes, it's over. This was it, guys. The end of an era. Bye! But also, let me just quickly give a shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much. You guys have been truly wonderful throughout this whole Buffy Angel journey. Thank you so much for your support. You guys are so, so kind, so amazing. I really appreciate it every single one of you and hopefully i will see you guys in the comments of other shows i'm gonna be watching in the future now it's time for a goodbye so bye guys I tried so hard, but all these
scars they cut so deep I bleed I fell so fast from heaven it's like someone clipped my